Hello, this is Andrew with Mamillion.bike. As you are probably aware, Garmin Connect, and actually most Garmin properties are down right now. The cause has not yet been officially confirmed, but uh, rumor has it they are victims of a ransomware attack. So it, it actually could be a while before their services are back online. So this guide walks through how to manually upload an activity from any Garmin device. In this case, I'm going to use an Edge 530, but the process is pretty much the same regardless of whether it's a watch or a bike computer. So the first step, and the step you can't see, is me plugging the uh, my Edge 530 into my computer. It uses a micro USB cable. The watch would use um, Garmin's proprietary cable. But the process, again, is exactly the same. So once it's plugged in, you just kind of wait for it to show up in the devices and drives. And there we have it. Click into it, go to the Garmin folder, go to activities. If it's not already sorted by the date, you probably want to sort it by date to find the activity that you're looking for. Uh, the most recent obviously would be the one on top. So I'm going to take this activity and I'm going to just drag it onto my PC. Then I'm going to shift, right click and copy as path. This is completely optional, but it just makes it a lot easier for you to find and upload the file. With Strava being open, you want to click on this little plus sign here in the right corner and select Upload Activity, and then Browse. Paste in your path, and there you go. Your activity is uploaded. This is essentially the same process that Garmin automates using uh, Connect. You're just skipping a step and, and doing it manually. Once you have it uploaded, you would just name it however you would normally name it. Uh, I like to give all of my rides unique names. Unfortunately, in the upload section, you can't add photos. You will have to go back and do that afterwards. Um, that is one of the things that I guess kind of annoys me about the user experience uh, when manually updating it. But once you save it, you can see it, and then if you edit it, then you have the option to add uh, a photo if you want to. And so that's all there is to it. Hopefully you found that useful. If you did, go ahead and like the video. Feel free to share it with anyone else who is struggling with uh, Garmin's IT foibles. Thanks for watching. Cheers.